One of the biggest lessons I've learned with training horses is that you want them to respond to pressure. You want to reward them for responding the right way. So pressure can be anything. It can be pulling on the reins. It can be my presence close to him. This young colt is just being a little bit nervous. So I don't want him to run away when he feels pressure. I want him to stop. So to do that, he's getting a bit nervous. My hand's stretched out here. I'm going to make him move. I'm going to keep making him move until he tries to stop. And then I'll take that pressure off of him. I take a step back and he takes a step towards me. Now I'm going to take a step towards him and he's moving again. So I'm going to make him move. I don't want him to move. I want him to stop. Does that make sense? So if I approach him, I want him not to run, but to stop. So his reward for stopping is my removing that pressure. I'm not snapping my fingers at him anymore. And he looks at me. Now I'm going to take a step towards him and see what he does. I'm putting a bit of pressure on him. He's looking towards me. I'm actually going to remove that pressure. So that he realizes not moving is the best thing he can do. Even though he's afraid, he needs to stand still. Does that make sense? So I'm going to continue to put more and more pressure on him. When he looks at me, you see how his ears and eyes turn towards me, I immediately removed the pressure. I'm going to increase the pressure again, a little bit more every time. When I see him think and turn his head towards me like this, I'm going to remove that pressure again, which is my presence. My presence is the pressure that's causing him to run. Does that make sense? Now I've increased the pressure so much, I'm actually petting him. This is actually a really tame cold. He's just being in the barn and I'm just actually teaching him a principle. I would like him now to turn his head towards me. That will be, as soon as he does, I'm going to stop petting him, remove that pressure. There we go. Good boy. Okay, so that was Jet Flyer, one of my home race colts. Now I'm going to do the same principle with this new colt who genuinely is afraid of me. And I would like him to learn that even though he's afraid, he needs to bear my presence. So I'm going to teach him the same principle. Look at his pretty head. I want him not to move away, but to stand still. He stood still. I took a step back. Actually, I'll be honest with you. I already did this a little bit with him, so he got the principle. Now with him, I'm not going to give him as much pressure since he has a lot more fear. I just wanted to teach him the principle today, so I'm not going to try to touch him. I just don't want him to run away when I come close. See? He's figured it out so quick. This is a very intelligent horse. So anyway, I'm going to continue doing this. I am going to increase the pressure to the point where he permits me to touch him. And from there, I'm just going to keep increasing pressure, touching him everywhere until I can halter him. So that's kind of my basis training techniques with everything I do.